favor of the winner, remaining undefeated, proving he is one of the elite champions of the sport. The fight it is over. Canelo gets the knockout. Hey, Wilder! You just made me think of another question, man, by saying that about Ugas. So now the question is, if he does beat Pacquiao, right, we do know that uh, Earl Spence and Ugas was in negotiating, negotiations for a fight before the Pacquiao fight landed Earl lap. We, we both know that it was in negotiating. And Ugas asked for 50-50. He was looking for a 50-50 split. And that is why the Pacquiao, the Ugas and Spence fight did not happen, because he pretty much priced himself out. Uh, so now, if he does beat Pacquiao, do you think he deserved a 50 50 split for Earl? No, but I think it would be fair for a 60 40. But I just still don't think he's at a level that he can ask for a 50 50 split, being that he has lost uh, three times, I think, in his career, and that he did lose to Sean Porter and Earl Spence beat Sean Porter. Even though it was a controversial loss on his record, he lost to him. But I think it does help him in negotiation to beat Pacquiao. Especially if it does good numbers. So that's another thing too. If, if that fight does really well on pay-per-view, I don't know how well it's going to do. I think it's going to do decent because you got Pacquiao. But if it does good numbers, it's going to give him more leverage to ask for a 50-50. I think if he plays hardball and the fact that I think Earl Spence is ready to get out of 147 and he just want to make those last two fights, the last two fights being with the winner of Ugas and Pacquiao and then fighting Terrence Crawford. And being that if he beat Pacquiao and he has the WBA belt, which he wants, I think he can get 45-55. I think he don't quite deserve it, but if I'm Earl Spence, but like I said, I ain't in the man pocket, I think he would agree to a 55-45 because I think he's trying to make the fight. The only downfall of that is you have a guy named Terrence Crawford that's watching that also, and he's going to say, you gave Ugas 45-55, I want 50-50. I'm bigger than Ugas. I'm, I'm the undisputed champion at 140. I'm a bigger star than him. If you gave him 45, 55, why can't I get 50, 50? So that's the only downfall of giving Ugas 45, 55. But um, me as a boxing fan, I just want him to make the fight. So whatever they got to do to make the fight. Yeah, you went you went the opposite direction than I thought, than I expected you to go with that. You was kind of going the way I thought you was going to go, but you went the opposite direction. Uh, yeah, why me personally, I don't think he would deserve 50, 50. But the casual fans will, will, will think so. He, the numbers he will have. The numbers, all right, if you're going by the numbers game, which is pretty much Earl Spence's whole negotiating profit when it comes to negotiating with Crawford. His whole thing is, look at my numbers. I've been on pay-per-view. This is my numbers. So if Ugas going here and and beats Earl's recent numbers, you know what I'm saying, then he has a, a reason to, and he beat Manny Pacquiao, then he has a reason to want 50-50. And if Earl don't want to be hard, play hardball and not give it to him, then he could be like, you know what? I can, I can, that's why I thought you was going to go with it. I can go over here and fight Terrence Crawford then. I'm pretty sure Terrence Crawford, who's, who's in need of a good payday and need of a good opponent, I'm pretty sure Terrence Crawford will give me 50 50. And he'll bring that that post uh, pac, the post Pacquiao crowd that wanted to see Ugas get knocked out now. Because once he beat Pacquiao, he's going to have a lot of people now want to see him lose. So he can take that crowd to a Crawford fight, not all the pac, all the Pacquiao fans who are upset are now Crawford fans because now they want to see Crawford beat Ugas. So he he will have a better negotiating platform than really to meet any other welterweight. I'm being thoroughly honest. Why Ugas is not the biggest name and he does not have the marketability as a Crawford, as a Spence and a Crawford. He just beat the guy who was the best the best name in that weight class. And if he do it in a convincing fashion, um, that's even that's even more in trouble for those for those two guys. Yeah, that, that's that's one dynamic I didn't think about. If he beats him convincingly, and just I can't, I don't see it happening. But if he just dogs Manny Pacquiao, it's gonna make it tough for negotiation when it comes to him and Spent. I'm afraid of it because, like I said, as a boxing fan, we want to get these fights made. But like you said, Ugas is gonna have some strong points to stand on on the reason of why he think he deserved that fifty fifty. And like I said, people forget Spence is on the time clock, man. He's, he's getting too big for 147. And he can play hardball if he wants to, like you said, because he can go and fight Terrence Parker. Because back then, Terrence Parker could be a free agent. But he can say, hey, man, I can make a fight with anybody now. So me and Lucas can get together and make a fight and, and, and do pay-per-view. And now you lose some leverage with Terrence Crawford if he beats Ugas. Because now Terrence Crawford said, I got two belts. 
I beat Ugas, who beat Manny Pacquiao. We did pretty decent numbers, because like you said, he's bringing in the hate for the Pacquiao fans. So now you lose money in the Terrence Crawford fight, because now you have to give Terrence Crawford close to a 50-50 split. So it's so many interesting dynamics in this from the way it can go, other than just the boxing ring. I'm going to be honest. I think no matter which way it goes, whenever that unification fight happens between whoever wins this trilogy, because it's going to be those three guys in a, in a pretty much matchup. Uh, for undisputed at one at one forty seven, so it's gonna be a fifty fifty fight regardless. I feel on any one of those three fights. I'm being honest. If if Ugas does choose to fight uh, Crawford instead of fighting Spence, the winner of that fight is gonna be a big enough name to then say Earl, I have I have the other two belts. You want to make this unification fight? It's fifty fifty. Earl will have to concede that at that point, and vice versa. If if he chooses, if Ugas chooses Spence over uh that's the only way i see it won't be 50 50 for crawford anymore if ugas chooses spence and then pretty much crawford would be in the same position he's in right now he will be you know what i'm saying he will have to negotiate 40 what is it i don't like getting in the pot to my negotiating but he had to, he won't take 50 50 he won't get 50 50 he will have to dead that because at that point he has one belt to crawford to uh spence's three and he just finished beating uh the guy who beat pacquiao quote unquote 